Bulama Modu and his wife look at the only belongings they have of their son. 16-year-old Mohammed left home two years back and killed himself on a suicide bomb mission for Boko Haram. His father believes the group took advantage of his poverty to recruit him. There is not in poverty you cannot cause. When you are poor and you are offered money, what can you not do? I had packed all my hopes on my son. Former members of Boko Haram interviewed for a UN report called Journey to Extremism said that the promise of a better life and sense of belonging is what lured them to join. The military has pushed Boko Haram out of much of the territory it controls, but the group's fighters are still active and able to carry out attacks in markets, camps for displaced people and other public areas. Many people we spoke to here say they're particularly worried about suicide bombers. This year has seen increased attacks. The UN Children's Agency, UNICEF, says 83 have been carried out by children, mostly girls. This government psychiatrist believes much more needs to be done to help children in distress as well as their parents. Children could easily be uh, kidnapped and could easily be indoctrinated with negative uh, doctrines that they come to implement. And one of the worst things is that we discovered uh, not quite long ago that some of the time if it's even the parents of these children that volunteer giving the children to the radical groups to, to be used as uh, suicide bombers. Muslim clerics run programs here in Maiduguri to persuade young people not to join Boko Haram or similar groups. They say for the war against Boko Haram to work, the government must involve local people and create trust. There's a lot of poverty here, and this is because of how the country is governed. Some people feel marginalized. It's not about ethnicity or religion. The religious leaders have been visiting camps for the displaced and other areas to spread what they say are messages to counter extremist ideologies. Most Nigerians here just want an end to their suffering and their homes to be made safe so they can return to get on with their lives. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Maiduguri, Northeastern Nigeria.